Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. I have something very exciting for you. This is a training tracker and a calendar. I have been working on this particular uh, spreadsheet application or spreadsheet dashboard for about a week now. Uh, slowly polishing it and kind of uh, conceptualizing it, thinking about it and, and drawing multiple sketches on my notebook and finally uh, coming up with this version. I'm really happy the way this looks and since it's a, a slightly complex workbook I thought a video will do some justice uh, when when you want to quickly understand uh, what this is all about. Uh, please read the blog post so that you can understand more about the template, download the copy and examine and learn more about it. Um, let's just jump into the Excel workbook so that I can demonstrate this to you. Um, so essentially the problem that we are trying to solve here is uh, imagine you are the training department head in a in a mid-sized company and um, and you got lots of training programs lined up for your employees and uh, you have a lot of people on your staff who are being nominated to various programs and you would like to get a hold of where everything is how many people are attending which courses and uh, uh, how much how many courses are filling up, what kind of uh, attendance we are getting and what kind of feedback you have, what are the upcoming programs, what are the programs that you have already finished and uh, have some clarity about how much money you are spending on the training. So this is uh, what I came up with. It's not particularly a dashboard. It is more of a, a calendar uh, slash qualitative text display of what's going on in the training program arena. Now, when it comes to training programs, there is a lot of data that goes into it, uh, but I try to keep this simple so that uh, we have some basic framework and if anybody is interested in extending the capabilities of this workbook, uh, they can add those features easily. So uh, let me quickly demonstrate the input worksheet. Right in the input worksheet, there are three areas where uh, you can enter inputs. The first one is your people list. Uh, you can enter your employee names and put them in any department. Uh, in case you don't have department structure, you could use a geographical location or project name or or whatever like manager name or something like that. Uh, and then you, there is another input uh, area. Now all of these inputs are Excel tables. So that means uh, whenever you add new data or when you import data from a data source like uh, uh, Oracle or, uh, or SQL Server, uh, you can just get the data as Excel table and everything works seamlessly. Um, the next table is your training programs table which uh, contains uh, the programs that are lined up. So your training course name, uh, who is the vendor and uh, what is the date on which this training will be conducted, what is the duration of the training in, in number of days and uh, what is the capacity for that training and indicative cost. Uh, you can add extra columns here. Uh, right now the formulas and the, the, and the calendar view is talking to only these columns but if you add extra columns you can build some calculation logic to incorporate all of those extra details and uh, display them intuitively in your workbook output. Once you have people and training programs the tracking part which is assigning employees to training courses is essentially another input process so this is where I have the third input table uh, it's called as people training mapping uh, tracker uh, where all you will do is whenever an employee says I'll go for that course uh, you just select the employee name from the drop down and uh, uh, and the program name that's all so once you select the name uh, there is a, a status column the leftmost column that displays uh, whether this enrollment is all right or not. If the green color tick mark is shown that means the enrollment is okay. Uh, if you see a an exclamation mark a local colored one that means uh, this is a duplicate enrollment as you can see Edward Glenn uh, opted for basic project management methods twice so we get the a low colored exclamation mark uh, and if at any point the course goes over capacity in this order uh, you would see the red color thing as well so here is Jordan who wants to go for basic project management methods but the capacity is already full so Jordan's enrollment will not be uh, going through okay uh, you can also uh, assign some feedback rating uh, a very very generic very simple feedback rating is incorporated here but you can add extra columns as I said uh, that can 
incorporate more rich feedback. Uh, right now, the formulas are built to talk to only the overall feedback of uh, one to five kind of things. Okay, so once you set up this data, the calendar view will display uh, all the programs that are going on. It also gives you a slicer to filter by any department and uh, you can see uh, at the top level the summary and at the bottom level the detailed picture. So you can see that uh, we have 100 people across all departments out of which 64 people have attended one course at least and 38 people have attended more than one course. Uh, there are 21 courses that are planned out of uh, and they cost $92,000. They had a capacity of 380 and only 130 people signed up so far. So we have an attendance or fill rate of 34% and that's the average rating. Okay. Uh, this is for all departments, only for filtered departments that is finance and sales, the summaries are shown here as well. At the bottom you can see the three month summary and uh, you can use the scroll bar to go through the months. For example, you can you can see what happened in Feb, March and April or you can go all the way to the other end and see what's going to happen next in future. Okay, so that's the calendar view and uh, and when you when you filter the slicer, everything automatically changes. If you don't want to filter, select everything and the filtering will go. Uh, some of these calculations and summary displays are pretty intuitive and interesting and it took me a while to figure out the right kind of formulas that are easy to apply and easy to think about. So uh, I highly encourage you to examine this workbook and decipher as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can unhide uh, the worksheets. There are two worksheets. One is a pivot table that is uh, a dummy pivot table to help with the slicer selection and another is calculation worksheet. I'm not going to go into those details because that will make this video 50 minutes long. <laughs> um, but in the blog post I am giving some highlights of that. In case you want to know more about this dashboard, uh, that is how it is constructed, what are the thinking formulas and conditional formats behind everything. Uh, I would encourage you to consider joining our Excel school program. This particular dashboard is being added to Excel school program as we speak uh, and uh, there is a 50 minute video lesson in Excel school where I go through all the steps of this dashboard and show you how it is constructed, how various formulas are working, uh, what is the logic behind various steps of the dashboard. Uh, so go ahead and download the file and in case you are feeling curious click on the blue button here Excel school program and go for the Excel school dashboards option uh, if you want to learn more about the dashboard in a video. Thank you so much for uh, watching Chendu.org channel and I hope you like, enjoy these videos. In case you like the video give us a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already uh, downloaded the file go ahead and grab it and uh, break it apart and learn more. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Bye bye.